What is good? I'm the threat. You just logged into F Gaming. And today I have a bit of sad news. It's news that's been trickling around for a while. And as you can see from the title, why I decided to quit playing Apex Legends. And for this, I'm going to break it down into three parts. Uh, but before that, this is by no means to degrade the game. The game has plenty of life left. There's plenty of people out there that still plays it. But I'm going to tell you why majority of the fan base has left. Me being one of them. So when Apex first dropped, the game was intuitive. It was great. It's a new experience. For me is playing Fortnite without the childish aspects of Fortnite. It was Call of Duty in a, a battle royal scene. And it was fresh and it was great and I loved it. I played it nonstop. This is what Call of Duty is supposed to do with their franchise as opposed to the battle royal scene. They did a remarkable job with the handling of the weapons, the camos. This was my game. So what happened? That's exactly what happened. Nothing. Nothing happened. Nothing happened for a very, very long time. And people moved on. The game was still great. The game was still in a good space. If you don't evolve over time, people just eventually get tired. And that's what happened to Apex. Don't get me wrong, Apex Legend is still doing remarkably well. They're averaging around 30,000 views on Twitch. They're just behind games such as PUBG, Fortnite. So they're in no shape or form ready to turn over and die. You know, they're still in a good space. So the question goes, so why are you doing this? Why are you making videos about games that you're no longer going to play. Why are you wasting your time? Truth is, I need views. <laughs> no, 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 no. Honestly, the truth is, there's games being produced at the moment. There's games coming out. Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, there's NBA 2K, there is Borderlands. I love these games. Destiny. I love these games. I don't want to stop playing these games. Real passionate about these games. So hopefully they see some of the mistakes Apex made. You learn from a person's mistake. Because I do not want to stop playing these games. I'm real passionate about these games. That's why I make these videos. So I gave you the positives about Apex Legends. And now, unfortunately, I have to give you the negatives. And by doing so, I'm going to break it down into three parts. One, is your time being rewarded? Two, do it feel repetitive? And three, support. So one, is your time being rewarded? So I felt my time was not being rewarded. And I felt like this through the, the clunky upgrade system patched together. It was the, the Fortnite Battle Pass upgrade system. Nothing gets carried over. That bothers me besides cosmetics. It was nothing to be gained. You know, you got a few cosmetic weapons and then whatever you get in the real world, nothing carries over. There was no real ranking system. So I felt even though I was having fun, my time was never rewarded properly. I never felt like I was progressing. Even when I there's games I win on the skin of my teeth, it never felt like I was progressing properly. And that was a problem for me. And this brings me to number two, is Battle Royal repetitive. What's the difference between Fortnite and Apex? It's all on one big gigantic map. Only difference is Fortnite updates regularly. 
So for Apex, the repetitiveness nature of the maps on Apex will seem more repetitive than Fortnite because the lack of updates. And a lack of updates, what brings me to the next point. When they did get an update, it was a nerf. The nerf of the wingman. Those of you who do not know what the wingman was, the wingman was one of the best feeling hand cannon I ever played in any game. The feel, the aspect, the, the fun factor, the way you can take a guy out from across the map with a hand cannon was brilliant, but too brilliant because it was kind of OP. And I'm not saying it shouldn't be nerfed, but it shouldn't be nerfed at that time when there was no content. Because at that time, the wingman was our only content and they took it away. Which brings me to number three, support. Support was non-existent for this game. The game was not very social. I think if they maybe would have enabled mics by default, you would have felt more inclined to communicate with your teammates. Nine out of ten matches, no one said anything. No one spoke. So this lack support. No updates for weeks and months. Not a single change. And that what I think catastrophically made the population of Apex declined. I'm in no shape or form trying to incline and tell you guys what and what not to play. If you like it, play it. If you don't, don't play it. But I'm just here telling you what I won't be playing. And that's Apex. I'm the threat. And I'm doing this for the love of the games. Not for likes or subs, but I would like if you sub. Thank you.